Hey, what's going on? My name is David and I'm coming at you guys with a brand new LEGO Star Wars video and a bunch of 2018 LEGO Star Wars set images were just leaked and so I decided I might as well put together all these images and give you guys my brief thoughts on all of them. So starting off with the micro fighters, we have the first order TIE Fighter micro fighter. Honestly, nothing really too special. The build looks okay for what it is and unfortunately it is not that brand new first order TIE Fighter pilot that was also seen in the Kylo Ren's TIE Fighter set. It's just a regular plain old TIE Fighter. So nothing really too special there. But then we are moving on to the Millennium Falcon Micro Fighter, which is actually kind of interesting because the build looks pretty semi-decent and you do also get Chewbacca, which I believe is the cheapest way to get this Chewbacca minifigure. So overall, it looks like a pretty pretty cool uh, micro fighter now moving on to the dual micro fighters we're going to be having uh, two micro fighters in one set i'm assuming this is probably going to retail for around 20 dollars um it's the a-wing versus the tie silencer of micro fighters and actually i do really like the idea because you get kylo ren for a very cheap price probably going to be only around $20 and I do like the build for the TIE Silencer. The A-Wing looks okay but nothing really too special but uh, overall looks like a kind of cool set. Moving on to the Ski Speeder versus the First Order Walker Micro Fighters. This one actually looks really really cool with all these uh, little builds. The only thing I'm really surprised is the fact that they did release the AT um, M6 build in a separate poly bag but this looks to be a little bit different from that a little bit more complex which I do like and also something to note is that uh, this set includes the first order walker driver which was previously exclusive to the ATM6 set which retails for about $150 so that is something extremely positive. Next up here on the list is the first out of two battle packs for this wave the first order specialist battle pack which is actually a pretty semi decent battle pack comes with a really cool turret build but more importantly it comes with the first order executioner minifigures comes with two of them so that makes this set really really awesome moving on to the second battle pack we have the Tatooine battle pack coming with one sandman two jawas and a red r2 unit honestly i'm having a little bit of mixed feelings about this doesn't really look too special but at the same time looks like a very cool build so i think it's going to be an okay set for the buildable figures in this wave, we do have Boba Fett, which looks pretty similar to the Django Fett that we received in the initial wave of these buildable figures, but of course, this one does look a little bit cooler with that tattered cape, which does add that very extra effect. And then we have a re-release of Darth Vader, and this one actually comes with that human kind of head. Um, mold and I don't really know how I'm feeling about that. It doesn't look too great But at the same time with the mask on this Darth Vader looks spectacular And finally moving on to the actual sets of the wave We have General Grievous's combat speeder and guys this set just kind of looks meh to me I mean the build is kind of bland, but you do get two incredible minifigures You get Mace Windu and General Grievous which are both spectacular minifigures to include in a set So that's pretty much the only redeeming factor in this set for me personally but moving on to the Oct 2 training set, this is hands down my favorite set of the entire wave. I absolutely love the design of this thing, and you finally get a buildable Porg, which is not exclusive to that Millennium Falcon $800 UCS set. You also do get a brand new printed Ray, and you do also get the brand new Luke minifigure, which is always awesome to get. And this is the first time that we're ever going to get him, and just I cannot wait to see what's behind that tag cloth covering that doorway to that hut and uh, finally we have the defense of a crate set I love that main aircraft and how that build kind of came together I really do like that a lot and this set does come with two first order snow troopers so it's always awesome to add those to the army collection and as well as that tower build I don't know why but I really like that tower build a lot I really don't know why and the defense turrets as well look pretty cool but kind of looks a little bit like an attack on Hoth a little bit but also has its own spin to it its own colors but anyway this concludes my thoughts on the 2018 uh, Star Wars The Last Jedi and other Star Wars uh, Lego set images hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video if you guys did then please leave a like subscribe for more Lego content in general thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one